All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan. I'm the developer of ZOA, and this is a ZOA tutorial, really just to show you what is officially new in version 1.1. I've teased some of these videos in my developer updates, developer journal videos before, but I wanted to make one that shows you officially what is new in version 1.1. So as usual, I have uh, ZOA running into the house mark one, and it's going through some nice delay and reverb. So let's uh, let's jump in and see what's new. I'm gonna open up ZOA. And the first thing that I've done is I've added some nice icons for the grid actions. If you look on the left here, there's a new grid action cell. So the uh, arrow to the right is advance, which uh, let's generate a grid here so we can manually advance with the right arrow. We can respawn the grid with the circular arrow. And also there is a new clear grid action, which is the X. I uh, got a lot of requests for a clear grid function. So hopefully that just makes it easier to interact with the grid. And it also keeps those controls separate from the auto advance and the auto respawn cells. The next kind of usability thing is this gesture uh, that allows you to uh, quickly select and change values. So for example, if you wanna go uh, maybe from eighth notes to quarter notes, you used to have to be able to kind of scroll through and you can still scroll through by tapping the buttons or sliding. Uh, but now if you press and hold, you actually get a list of options and we can jump straight from half notes to quarter notes. We can set the rule uh, any of these steppers basically has this option, so you could jump straight up to an octave. And it is uh, like a two-handed gesture, so you have to press and hold. And when you lift the finger, uh, you are gonna, the menu's going to disappear, which is, by design, I wanted these actions to be kind of really quick to access. And I wanted to you know, force the user to engage a bit with both of their hands. So uh, those are kind of the usability things. And now let's get into uh, some of the musical stuff. One of the things I'm really excited about is I've added a new um, playhead pace, set of playhead paces, which are based on the golden ratio. We have golden whole, half, quarter, golden eighth, sixteenth, and thirty-second. And in case you don't know, I'll show you a little bit about what the golden ratio is. It's a special number in math. If you've seen the Fibonacci spiral, if you've heard about you know, the Fibonacci sequence, uh, the golden ratio is a number that is closely related to those things. And you know, in, in ancient Greek mathematics, they kind of thought it was this um, you know, embodiment of beauty, if you will, this numerical um, embodiment of all that is aesthetically pleasing. And the number happens to be about 1.618. So what I've done is I've turned that into musical notes for ZOA. And you may have seen or heard something like this in the Strymon Dig delay pedal. They have some delay settings that are based on the golden ratio. But what you can do is you can set, you know, say we'll make this golden quarter note. And the golden quarter note is going to be, you know, longer by a factor of 1.6. So that makes the golden quarter note a little bit longer than a dotted quarter note, for example. And let's just hear how that sounds. I'm gonna start with just the quarter note and let's set that back to no offset and give it a rule. Okay, we're gonna bring in the golden quarter note. So what you're hearing, uh, the golden quarter note, it's a little bit longer, it's a little slower. And since the golden ratio is an irrational number, 
those uh, notes are never going to stack up on top of each other like they might if you were using triplets or dotted notes. Um, an irrational number is a number that's not actually representable by a fraction, which means in musical terms that the notes will never quite stack up on top of each other. They may play really close, they may play kind of far apart, but they'll never play exactly at the same time. So I think that is going to really um, give people a lot of new opportunities to create interesting rhythms and generative patterns uh, that I think is going to really enhance what Zoa is doing. So let me show you one more thing, and that's that we've added uh, user presets in the standalone mode. So I'm just going to you know, save what I have here, and maybe I'll actually you know, enable the golden quarter note. And I'm going to show you that we can save a preset here in AUM, and it'll show up exactly how we've saved it in the standalone. And we can do that you know, in both directions. So let's just say this. Got demo. We'll save that in the plugin. Because uh, in order for it to be visible, it has to be saved you know, inside of the audio unit as opposed to AUM. So now let's actually go out of AUM and we'll load up the ZOA standalone. And you'll see we have this new presets button up here. We can just tap into that. We can select this demo preset. And we can see that it shows up. We've got the quarter note and we've got the golden quarter note over here. And it's going to advance, you know, as it should. And we also have the ability, you know, to save presets in the standalone, and those will show up in AUM just like they have here. So let's go back to AUM. All right, I think that's it for ZOA 1.1. There is a small bug fix in this update as well that uh, there were some issues with like sending MIDI out on the proper channels in the standalone. And I got that fixed in version 1.1. So I hope you enjoy the new grid actions buttons, the new shortcut for selecting values, and also the new golden notes and user presets in the standalone mode. Thanks for watching and hope you have fun making music.